this is my room and this is just kind of like a overview real quick so right up here is a little piece of my science fair board from seventh grade it's just like water <laughs> i like it so right on my door is a hangy thing where i put a bunch of bags and purses and scarves and hoodies and this is my purse that i got for christmas which is freaking epic and it's zebra print obviously this is my backpack that i take to school this is my debate hoodie <laughs> this is another purse i have from payless and this is a huge bag that my bedspread came in and i have like a bunch of like random stuff i don't even know what it is so here like right here is my bathroom so my door and then a door to the bathroom and i used to share it with my sister but then she went to college and so now it's kind of my own i have my radio in here because i didn't really have an outlet for it in my room right now it's playing Megan and Liz, if you can see it, they're pretty epic. They're like the only thing I listen to anymore. So I have a mirror and medicine cabinet and another mirror, hey. And um, I don't know what is cool about a bathroom. My brush, toothbrush, <laughs> Vaseline contacts. Um, this is really cute, I made it at camp. It says Lizzie and it has zebra print and tigers and forest. And I have Q-tips in there and then this is just like cotton balls and then um, witch hazel that I use as toner and I don't know where my face wash is right now but I would show that to you. This is my makeup brush shampoo from Sephora. I clean my brushes with that. This is an exfoliant I use for my face sometimes. This is full of like band-aids and stuff because I'm like always getting hurt. These are actually really cool. They're like for when you have a blister. There's a bunch of towels here because I use like three when I take a shower. I don't know why. That's a picture of me when I was 13, which was a long time ago. Um, this is my makeup remover wipes. It's a thing from Walmart, and then you just buy the, um, like, you buy the container, and then you buy the filler things, like, the extra things that go in there. <laughs> this is my hair drawer. I have, like, my hair blow dryer gel that I don't ever use. I use this every single day. It's Herbal Essence Toss Me Softly Mousse. And it makes my hair super, like, non staticky And this is the hairspray I have. It's from Fructus Style Volumizing something. <laughs> and then I have, like, combs and brushes. And this is my, cr this is, like, a ceramic one. I got it at Walmart. And then it has a little glove thing with it. And then in here, I have, like, random, I don't even know what this is. Over here on the door is my bathrobe that I use sometimes. Oh, this is really cute. It's a little thingy with a kitty. It says, when I am afraid, I will trust in you. And it's a Bible verse. Uh, this is a picture that we've had in our family for like years and years and years. It looks like an acorn or a seashell or something. Here, basically, we have normal shower stuff in the shower. Razors and shampoos and stuff. And yeah. Back into my room. Okay, so right to the right of here, I have a bunch of Bible verses, and this one is like crazy amounts of text. It's basically um, Colossians 3, like the entire chapter, well, most of the chapter. It's my favorite chapter in the Bible, so I just kind of wrote it on a poster and put it in my room because it's really epic. This is um, a verse I found in Ecclesiastes. Do not pay attention to every word people say, or you may hear your servant cursing you. For you know in your heart that many times you yourself have cursed others. And that's just when, like, people, like, I don't know, you guys all have families, and you probably get into arguments a lot, and, like, a lot of times someone will say something really mean, or I'll say something really mean, and it's nice to be able to look at that and, like, tell myself to not take it too seriously, because people, like, say things they don't mean a lot, and that really helps me. Okay, so for the rest of these, I'm just going to, like, you can pause it if you want to read it, but I have too many Bible verses, and this video would be, like, 50 hours long if we, like, read all of them. But this is my favorite Bible verse. I love it. Um, down here is a little chair thing that I have some friends on. This, is, this was given to me by Theodore Roosevelt. Like, this guy dressed up as him. And I was on crutches. And he's like, I hope this teddy bear makes you feel better. And so it's like a legit, like, teddy bear. Like, Teddy Roosevelt. Ah. And then that's just an elephant because they used to be my favorite animal. I, I basically use this to watch TV because we don't really use our TV that much. I watch TV on my computer on Hulu. So... I also study on it, but it's mainly like my, my TV chair. And then over here, right by my bed, is this little blue thingy, and I basically put my stuff in it. I have a journal that I got for Christmas from my dad. Um, it has a really cool quote in it. You should pause the video and read it. It's basically my journal. If you're really confused, 
that's because that's my baptism birthday, Christian birthday, and I'm going to write a novel in this. Then I have another book I got for Christmas called Uncompromising, and it is by Hannah Ferber, and it's really, really good if you're a Christian girl, you should get it. Um, this is another book I got for Christmas by Peter Singer called The Life You Can Save, and it's amazing, and you should read that too. Then I have headphones and like, I don't know, what is this thing called? Then I have this to-do list with all these video ideas for 2012. And then I have my diary from kindergarten. I don't know why it's in here, but it's cool. Okay, so then here's my bed, which is zebra print, obviously. That panda bear is named China Rose. I got her when I was like seven. And then this is my pillow pet. That is a zebra, obviously. And I have pillows that are zebra print. And this is a body pillow. And it's all from Target if you want to get it. Um, here I have a poster from this college that I'm not even applying to, but it's really pretty. <laughs> and if you live in California and want to go to a really cool Christian school, you should probably apply there because I think it's pretty awesome. And then I have this thing that was in my Bible that I typed out. Before going somewhere controversial, ask these questions. Um, heroes, step out on faith. That's from VBS. And this is from VBS too. The theme was heroes. <laughs> Um, this is something my mom got me. It's like a tapestry kitten thing. And these are pictures of me and people who are really cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And then I have Liz. And then over here I have top 10 things to pray about. And top 10 thing ways to fight temptation. And then I have a really cool quote thing. Every day you face a similar set of challenges. Do you pursue popularity or do you serve Jesus by befriending others? Do you invest all your time and money in your looks or do you use your gifts to serve the Lord? Are you seeking recognition for your talents and accomplishments or are you seeking glory for him? What you choose today determines how you'll be remembered forever. Live like Joanna, make noble choices. And that's from my Bible. And Joanna is a woman in the Bible. Okay, so then we have my window, which is dark right now because it's really late at night. And I have this little star thing that I put on the the thing, the, the string thing. This is a pillow that my grandma gave me. Love her. And my cat knocks it down like every single day, but that's okay. This is my like phone, like a home phone that rings when people call. This is the most archaic window ever. Like if you ever want to break into my house, you're not going to be able to because it's like a crank. And then it like cranks open. If you guys can see that, it's really, really weird. But it, I'm very confident that no one could ever break into my window. Um, this is a poster. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who prays the Lord is to be praised. Proverbs 3130. It's kind of my life verse. Um, this is a little jewelry thing, and on top of it is a little flower vase with really pretty flowers in it. And then I have a charm that my sister gave me. It was like a mood necklace. Like it changes color with the mood. Let's see. See it changed to green. Did anyone see that? It was blue and now it's green. And then this is something my grandma gave me. You're supposed to put like rings on top of it. But I don't. So this is my little jewelry thing. And um, it opens up. And I put rings inside there. And I have necklaces that go in there. Yeah. <laughs> Um, these are little earrings that I wear every day, but I'm not wearing them right now, obviously. And then I have more earring studs and another ring. This is a mood ring too, but it doesn't really fit me. It's a little butterfly. And then I have more necklaces over here and the same little mirror thingy there. Okay, in the first drawer I have those rubber bandy things that I make like little braids in my hair with. In the second drawer I have bobby pins and clips. In the third drawer I have zebra print earrings that my best friend got me. In the la fourth drawer I have more earrings. And these are all from Forever 21. Okay, so then I have this little like fa fur. Um, it came from a coat that I had that I grew out of so I just keep it there to look cute. So then I have my little like bureau thingy and this right here is a little quote thingy. Some of the worst things I've heard are the things I tell myself. And that's a quote by this person who went to a youth rally at our church. And this is another Bible verse, Romans 12. Um, and on all of the drawers, I have these little heart-shaped stickers. I thought it was cute. 
three years ago and I haven't changed it since then. <laughs> so in this first drawer I have Bible stuff and this is my Bible and um, as you can see it's kind of like really 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 falling apart and that's because I wow wow this was kind of the last straw when that page fell out um I ordered a new one and it's going to be the message 2.0 remix edition and it's pink and it's coming really soon which is exciting this is a journal that I had and I pretty much filled it up with notes and prayers and stuff this is my new journal this is a Bible reference guide I have. Um, this is a random track that this like Jehovah's Witness or Mormon dude gave me at the train station. It was so weird. Um, this is a weights and measure table from a Bible I had like five years ago. This is the purple book. It's like a devotional thing. These are my glasses. I wear them at night a lot. Okay, it's like so blurry. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just like terrible blurry, ugh. This is a Bible concordance that my dad gave me. And these are like old Bible covers for my Bibles that have broken. Okay, second drawer. I have a bunch of old um, prayer journals. That's what I call them. I like basically like take notes in them and write prayers to God. There's like a bunch because this is from like my whole life. So kind of cray cray. This drawer is full of empty legal pads, and I'm on the debate team. Uh, next drawer is, I don't even know, I think like just blank notebooks for school. Like composition books and stuff. Then down here, wow, this is my financial drawer, and I keep all my like receipts, and checkbooks, and world vision stuff, and tax deduction stuff, and yeah. So this is a little makeup bag holder clutch thing and I sometimes like bring makeup to school to like touch up so I keep it here so that I like have it ready to take to school and this is my makeup brush holder um this is something that my sister got me okay so basically like you shake it and there's like little sparkly thingies in it it's like the swan lake I think and then right here you twist it and it sings This is, wow, it's like a mirror. That's pretty cool. <laughs> this is my BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. This is like my reason for waking up in the morning. It has basically like every color you could dream of and it's pretty amazing. So in this first drawer, I have foundation, concealer, powdery stuff. Okay, so this is my mascaras and eyeliners. The reason there's like way too much mascara is because I got the Sephora Deluxe Sampler thingy last Christmas and a lot of them are like pretty much empty, but I don't want to throw them away, so. Okay, so in the third drawer I have um, loose eyeshadows. Okay, so then over here I have um, Urban Decay Primer Potion. So right down here is my little chair cube that I sit on when I do my makeup in the morning. And... Inside it is a bunch of random stuff. I have these little curler things called hot sticks by Conair. Um, I have a little flute thing. <coughs> these overnight curlers that are cheetah print. And then down here, I basically have like a bunch of viola music. Like a bunch. Like all oh, wow. So right over here, I have another little poster and it's 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. And... That's just to remind me to not dress like trying to be sexy, but dress knowing I'm like a temple of God, like I'm representing Christianity. Oh, right back here is this little pink and white hamster thing that I have that's really cute. And I have like markers for my whiteboard, which is right up here. And I basically just write like prayer requests and, and I hang up like random notes to myself. <laughs> that's part of my college essay right there. Um, and then that's like for my pillow pet. Sometimes I put like Lizzie Dancer's video ideas on here too. And up here is from one of my videos. Comment below if you know which one it is. And over here is another Bible verse. And then I have my mirror. ka -ching. It's actually breaking right here. Like I always break mirrors and I don't get it like because that's supposed to be like you're ugly and you break mirrors. But like I don't really consider myself to be like super ugly. Like look. This is broken too. There you go. It's just like so terrible. So down here below my mirror is this little like docking station I made. And this is my camera charger for this camera. And this is where I put my phone when I'm charging. And then this is like my phone charger. 
Um, this is my Barlow Girl poster, Love and War, and I they used to be my favorite band until they didn't come out with an album for three years. This is my closet. So these are my clothes, and it's kind of empty-esque because I'm washing a lot of my clothes right now. And I arranged it like color-codedly, so it starts with like black, and then zebra print, and then white, and then light pink, and then dark pink, and then burgundy, and then red, orange, yellow, green, blue, dark blue, navy blue, fuchsia, purple, gray, gray, brown, brown. And, oh, here we go. This is my dance costume from when I was nine. And it's the one that goes with, like, that flowery thingy. Okay. So then up here is, uh-oh. Oh, you cannot see this. <laughs> it says, like, my school's name on it. I and mean, you can stalk me. So those are the yearbooks from my school. And then right over here are the magazines that my school makes. They come out with the magazine every month. Um, right here is a pile of stuff from last semester. It's mainly, like, all this is, like, debate stuff. And then I have like a lot of creative writing stuff and that's kind of like it. And then here I have like extra quilts when it gets cold. And up here are all of my belts. And then over here is like a bag, a Victoria's Secret bag with like random like stuff, jewelry and stuff in it. I don't even know. Back there is my wig, my favorite swift wig from Halloween. And then here is, I don't even know, random stuff. <laughs> um, these are my crutches. If you haven't seen my crutches video, then click the screen and it'll open a new, a new window. This down here is where I put all my debate research in when I'm done with it. And that's what I need to sort that into eventually. These are clothes that I need to donate to some homeless shelter. These are just like extra storage things I don't use. Um, this is a little thing that I put hangers in. And I don't have that many hangers in it right now because, I don't know, I always lose hangers. It's really sad. These are my after flats that are going to be in a video coming up really soon. I'm sorry guys, it's been a while. <laughs> this is like writing, like all my journals. Well, this is my debate binder from last year, but all that is just like stories and novels and short stories and portfolios and like <clears throat> my writing crate. On top of it is my scrapbook and um, like random photo albums. So I think that's my whole closet, it's pretty cray cray. So up here, on the wall are my favorite bands, which are Barlow Girl and Skillet and Brit Nicole. And there's my World Vision girl right there in a cool photograph I made, in a cool photo frame I made. And then here are just like pictures from a long time ago of like me and people who are awesome and my cat. And I'm covering up, oh my gosh, this is terrible. I'm covering up my name right now because I don't want you guys to know my last name. This is something I made in my psych class of, <laughs> it's like a Freudian thing where you like randomly like put paint on it and you're supposed to like look at it and tell what it is. It looks like a butterfly to me. These are antlers for Christmas. This is a mask I got from a party. This is a fish thing I made at VBS, like the same year that I made that stuff. Um, down here is my nail polish collection and... Then over here I have this stamping nail art kit. So then right here is my computer and right now I'm in my iTunes and we have Megan and Liz going on. Um, I'm pretty obsessed with Megan and Liz. Like they're they're like legitly like the only thing I listen to nowadays. Like it's ridiculous. And these are like I've downloaded like all their covers from that aren't on iTunes from YouTube and like look at this there's like over 50 songs on here it's like cray cray these are iTunes gift cards that's a dreidel even though I'm not Jewish that's a cute seal my speaker um, back here are pencils and pens and highlighters and markers and color pencils and in here are my memory cards and my flash drive that's supposed to go there but I was like using my memory cards to make this <laughs> Here's like a Rubik's Cube, and then down here is like all my music. That's not Megan and Liz, because they haven't come up with the, out with an album yet. <laughs> and then right over here is like random office stuff, like whiteout and like a protractor, scissors, glue, ruler, stuff like that. There's my phone that broke, and I don't know what to do with it. Um, here is like a little bench thing. It's like a mini bench, and I put like note cards on it. And then these are like college essays. Like I'm not even kidding. It's like ridiculous. This is my new phone that I got. It's like really, really cool. It's an Android. 
Okay, this is like so cool guys because like look you tap it and it moves. So then in this little quarter, it's just like random stuff. Obviously I have my light going on. Oh, and then I'll show you this. Right here is what my friends put on my locker in Indiana when I moved away. And they all signed it and it was like, aw, love you. Um, down here I have my trash can, which I emptied for you guys. And my dirty clothes, which are there's none in there because they're getting cleaned right now. And then my tripod. And then this is just like random, um like bags from like Sephora or Target or whatever that I keep in my room. Then on my wall, this is a cute thing I found in the magazine. Um, this is really cool. You should pause the video and read it. Here, I'll zoom in. And then there's a Bible verse. This is something I made at camp. We always make like cute photo frames and that's my cat, obviously. This is my bureau, and I have a bunch of things all on the wall. Oh, oh, and wait. Okay, so this right here is my fan. And I have a little Christmas thing hanging on it for Christmas. And I have a little, like, pom-pom thingy from, like, a coat or a scarf. And then over here on the ceiling, I have point shoes hanging up because I used to dance. So this is my bureau, and... This is like a little stationary thing. I have like thank you notes and like cards and cute things in there. And then this is like parts of my rock collection because I used to be really into collecting rocks. But this is from when I used to dance. Um, and then right here are little hair clips and a little Cinderella shoe from one year we did Cinderella at my studio. Actually the same year as I was. Okay, this is hilarious guys. I was a pig. Can you see that? Like I was a pig. I was so mad when I found out, but it was a really pretty dress. Um, these are ponytail holders, and this is just like random jewelry that I don't know what to do with that I decided to put in a clear thing to be pretty. Then over here I have a little thingy, and it's really cute because it moves. <laughs> and I have flowers that are fake, obviously. And then that's my family up there, and that is my certificate of baptism that has my name on it. Comment below if you understand this. I'm really proud of it. I made it. Um, this is my senior picture. My mom ordered like 50 copies of it, so if you want one, message me with your address. This is Almay's oil-free makeup remover, eye makeup remover wipes. Um, this is a heel lotion thing to make your heels like not all like cracked and gross. Not that mine are, but <laughs> this is a little perfume sample I got from Sephora when you like order online. Um, this is from Victoria's Secret. It's very sexy hot perfume. It's spicy and it smells so good. Do you want to smell it? It smells really good, doesn't it? So good. It's like spicy amazing. Um, from ba Bath and Body Works and it's peppermint and this one is sparkly. Do you guys want to be sparkled up? You better move if you don't want to. It smells so good. Uh oh, you got a little wet. This is a little thingy I got from my secret Santa. It's like an angel with my birthstone, which is red. And then I just found that. It's like a little, it's like a little doll. So over here is my knitting. And I'm going to make a video about knitting really soon. Um, right down here are all the books that I have borrowed from my school library and failed to return. And I need to do that because I'm about to graduate. And right here is just a light that, um... I use sometimes like when I'm reading at night or I'm doing my homework at night and I want the main light off I just turn this one on and it's like a lot not as bright it's really nice and then up here are more Bible verses and you can pause the screen if you'd like to read them um this is something else I made at camp well I didn't make it I was sick I always get sick at camp um it says Liz and it has my cat on it. <laughs> Christmas is like my boyfriend. You know how like people put pictures of their boyfriend in their room? Like, <laughs> I just put pictures of my cat. Um, this is an award I got in LZ, sixth place. Um, the whoa. This um right here in front of my hand is my family tree that I don't want you to see. Okay, so then over here is part of a card I got when I was like 15, I think, from this girl named Christy. This is something from Seventeen Magazine, or no, I don't know. It's from some magazine, and it's just like how you should have like that many fruits each day, and like that many grains, and like no cookies. <laughs> um, this is a caricature drawing that someone did of me, and I don't. My friends said it didn't look like me at all, but you guys can be the judge of that. I don't think I at all resemble that, but <laughs> my hair was in a braid then, so maybe, maybe. Um, over here is 
a brown bear because my sister goes to Brown University and their mascot is the bear so I told her when she got in that she had to get me a brown bear for Christmas and she did <laughs> and it's really cute um this is an owl from Harry Potter World click the screen and it'll open a new window to see the Harry Potter World video um, these right here are flashcards from my site class and like this is so ridiculous this is a book I got for Christmas it's the Greek dictionary phrase book and dictionary. I'm teaching myself ancient Greek and that's like modern Greek but it'll still kind of help so it's really cool. Um, these are trophies that I've gotten in debate for LD. First place both of them that one was this was um, junior year this was senior year a couple months ago. This is the dog I got for Christmas a long time ago and his name is Coconut. Here are a bunch of books that I like. I keep most of my books in the library which isn't really a library but right here are all my books and they're in a little shelf and it's kind of ridiculous these are really cool they're um diary of a teenage girl caitlin they're really good i recommend them this is east of eden by steinbeck it's really good um oh henry one flew over the cuckoo's nest amazing and then this is all like philosophy books except for do hard things which is a christian book which is amazing you should read it down here are workout things um this is my track workout for that I'm supposed to be doing but I can't because I keep getting injured and this is not food this is the 17 magazine workout for this month that I've been doing and then here is the world vision gift catalog which makes me so happy reading through it and like planning out what I'm gonna buy and then I have um, a bunch of magazines mainly 17 I guess I subscribe to it when I'm 17 and I'm considering unsubscribing when I turn 18 but I don't know I feel like they have so many coupons in it that it's like worth subscribing. Right under here is my yoga mat that I like do crunches and like workouts on. And then here is all my school stuff. So that was my room and I hope that you guys have a safe, wonderful new year and that 2012 brings a bit more exciting and zebra print snazzy epicness to your life and I'll see you soon. Bye!